Good day kids. Today, we will discuss determining the missing term or terms in a sequence of numbers. Get ready, stay focused and learn. Mrs. Reyes, a math teacher, wants to challenge her pupils by presenting the series of numbers as shown. Can you tell what number is missing? Before we answer what number is missing, let's first find out what is called a sequence of numbers like what is shown. It is a list of objects or numbers that are in order. Observe the first two consecutive numbers. What will be done to make 2 become 8? That's right, we can add 6, or we can multiply 4. Let's try adding 6 first. 2 plus 6 equals 8 for the first two consecutive numbers. Another addition of 6 to the next number to find out the pattern. 8 plus 6 is equal to 14 and does not hit 32. It means that adding 6 is not a pattern suitable for this number sequence. Since adding by 6 to the sequence is not a pattern, let us try the multiplication of 4. 2 times 4 equals 8. 8 times 4 equals 32, and this is correct. How about 32 times 4 equals 128 is also correct. Therefore, our pattern for the sequence is multiplying by 4. What exactly is the so-called pattern? The pattern is a procedure or rule that can be followed. It comes after a set of numbers that are arranged in a particular order. This means that to find the missing number, simply, multiply 128 by 4. 128 times 4 equals 512, therefore, the missing number is 512. Can you tell the pattern in this series to get the missing number? Let's find out how 9 became 6. Correct, by adding 3. Next is the number 9, and how it became 13. Yes, by adding 4. Then, the number 13, and how it became 16. By also adding 3. And so on for the next number by adding 4 to become 20. Therefore, the pattern or rule for this series of numbers is alternate addition of 3 and 4. It means 20 plus 3 equals 23. And the missing number is 23. Not all number sequences have just one pattern, there are series of numbers with more than two rules or patterns. Let's find out by using the previous series of numbers. In this series, we will use a pattern in alternate numbers. 
How did 6 become 13? We add 7. Then, the second alternate numbers, 9 added by 7 and became 16. And the third, 13 added by 7 equals 20. In this series, we can say that, adding 7 to the two alternate numbers can also be a pattern. To find the missing number, add 7 to 16 equals 23. And we got the same answer we had in the previous series of numbers. Remember, in every sequence, there is always a pattern and to find the next number in a series, one must determine the pattern which is the solution to the entire problem. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get more new video lesson updates.